Hey guys, welcome to the kit review. Now, before I go any further, I just want to say, when I do a kit review, okay, this is just my opinion, okay? I'm not saying you should go out and buy it yourself, okay? This is just my opinion. And I'm saying that because I was watching a channel, I can't remember which one it was now, to be honest with you. I can't even remember what bit of kit it was, but <clears throat> I was watching a channel, and um, this YouTuber had um, done a kit review on a bit of kit and praised it. And one of his subscribers went out and bought it and thought the kit was rubbish and then had a go at the YouTuber. Nuts. So, please guys, just remember that. When I do a kit review, this is just my opinion, okay? Now I'm going to pop a photo up of the kit I've bought so you know what I'm on about, okay? It'll be in the clip, this next clip. All right. So guys, as you can see, it's a mixture. It's a Swedish slash Austrian army uh, mess kit. Now, for all the YouTubers that they do the wild camping, the bushcrafting, they know Swedish army mess kits cost up bloody fortune um it's that i got i actually got stung on a kit because i saw it for 65 quid with a bang i was oh bid oh, sorry buying it and i bought it wait then wait then where the bloody hell is this kit i messaged the seller turns out his account had been hacked or something because he'd sold that kit months ago but i got the money back thank god um so yeah be aware guys when you're buying kit um if you see it for 65 quid or something, it, and that's the buying price, then it's usually too good to be true. Worked out that way in my case. Anyway, what I've done, I've bought uh, this mixture, um, <clears throat> and I'm pleased with it. Oh, I will say I'm pleased with it. It didn't come with a pouch, unfortunately. But anyway, we'll start off. Right, this is the Swedish Army bit of the kit, the windshield. Okay, you can see the prongs in there that come up. You rest the tin on there, and you put this little bit of the uh, transier in on the ground, and then you put this over it. You light your meths or fuel, whatever fuel you're using. I'm using meths, bloody branches, and it protects it from the wind. It also it's got uh, little holes there, obviously to give the flame some oxygen, excuse me, I think this is a great bit of kit, this, I love this bit, I do like it, I will be honest, um, obviously you know I've, I've done a review on a <coughs> Yugoslav army mess kit, and I do like my retro stuff like that, uh, right, anyway, on the, this, there we are, now this is a tin, the mess tin, whatever you want to call it, a nice little handle there, so that'll be handy if I'm doing like a little stew or something. Get up a tripod, I mean, I've got one in the house, weighs next to nothing, I can put that over a fire if I wanted to, hang it, job done. Better, right, this comes off. Now, this is almost like, well, it has a couple of uses, I believe. You put this on the on your tin. When you're boiling water, lid. Or, you can use it, I suppose, to boil eggs in, a bit of rice, maybe even a bit of scrambled egg, if you want, or poach some eggs if you want, into that. Nice little uh, robust material. Obviously, it's had its fair share of wear and tear, you can see that, but it, it's not going to be brand new, guys. I mean, I believe these kits were around in the 60s. So they are, you know old or mature we'll use the word mature can't say old because i'll offend some bugger yeah sorry mestin i'm offending you anyway <clears throat> not getting into that um this is the other one that came with it now it doesn't fit into the fire uh windshield sorry like the swedish army mess kit because i'll show you now this is the tin as i said now the swedish army mess kit isn't like this it's more that shape, so it slots right in. 
Now, obviously, that's handy for when you're cooking. Yes, it does fit in there. Uh, so I can... Well, I did my brew on it, as you saw. Um, but the Swedish Army Mess Kit is more snug, if that makes sense, into the uh, windshield. Because obviously, when you fold these prongs down, then you can put the tin in there, and it, it all goes into one kit, and you can clip it up. Job done. That's great. Uh, this doesn't, unfortunately. So I'm going to see what I can do about that. Um, I'm sure Tank sent me a link for a strap I can put around it and save it bouncing around everywhere, which is great. Thanks, Tank, for that. But yeah, this is it. Nice, nice sturdy construction. It is a bit heavy, I won't lie, it is a bit, but I think it's a good bit of kit. I will be using it. Um, now this thing, I'm not too sure of, to be honest with you. I've tried, I've had a look around uh, Google, YouTube, and I can't really find out what this is used for. It's probably for some sort of like side dish or something, or noodles. Um, I know Tank has got, uh, I think he's got the Austrian army mess kit, and uh, I believe... This was used for like salad or rice or something. I'm not 100% sure of that. Um, the, you can drink out of it personally because it, the, the steel construction. I wouldn't like to try that personally because I'll probably burn my lips off. So if I'm going to be using either that or that to drink out of, then I'll probably put some like a um, couple of layers of insulation tape around the tip so I don't get third degree burns on my lips. I really don't need that. Um, but yeah. In all honesty, guys, I do like it. Uh, the downside is it didn't come out of the pouch. Okay, you can't have everything. I think it's about 40 quid I paid. So it's not too bad, in, in all fairness. Um, I mean, yeah, I could go out if I wanted to and buy the sweet Army mess tin. That'll probably cost me 40, 50 quid on its own. So I've got this. Um, well, I've brought it up today in my gas mask pouch. Or gas mask bag fits everything in there got my uh milk my pepper my tabasco in there always good uh yeah oh and it comes with this now this is another part of the swedish army kit you how you can tell that you've got the three crowns over there you can see that yeah there's my mess bottle now me personally if i'm coming out for a couple of days i probably wouldn't just bring this um I've got the other, where the hell is it? Where the hell is it behind me? This, the Trangia bottle. Oh. That's as a spare. But yeah, I got that. Nice heavy duty plastic. Good screw on lid. For your mess. Because you certainly don't want to turn over the camp and find all your kit covered in met methylated spirits. On the whole, I'm pleased with it. Um, I would use. I'm definitely going to use it again. Uh, I would was contemplating trying to incorporate my Yugoslav army mess kit, but I'm not sure if it would fit in there. To be honest, in the windshield, so I'll keep it as is um, until I sort out that cup. I'll be using my own, my arm, British army one. But yeah, I'm on the whole. I'm pleased with it. Um, a really good purchase. I like it. It's robust. It'll take a battering. Well, I think it's taken taken a battering already. Uh, yeah, out of ten, seven, maybe. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So yeah, as I said, guys, when you're buying those Swedish Army mess kits for goodness' sake, for your own safety or not safety, but fine for your wallet then financially. Be careful. If you see, as I said, if you see a kit that's like 60 quid, it's too good to be true. There's something wrong somewhere. I found that out the hard way. Um, but yeah, I do, this is the bit I do like about it. And I know people think, oh, it's only a windshield. But yeah, you try cooking openly. It's not easy. But this, lifesaver. And there we go, guys. Uh, that is my... Swedish slash Austrian army mess kit review. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I think I've only done about two or three kit reviews. <laughs> I intend to do some more. And as ever, as I said before, th 
my I'm going to try and categorize my uh, channel more so now um, when I do while camping or come out for the day whatever that'll be one separate video if I do a kit review that'll be another separate video um, yes I've been asked to do more paranormal stories um, so that'll be another separate video it's not going to be mixed like it has been uh, because that does create confusion I find so I'm going to try and uh, categorize it for people uh, anyway guys I hope you like it um, thank you all for your support it means a great great deal to me it really does the support has been phenomenal lately uh, my subscribers have jumped up to 357 now i think so guys thank you all, one and all it means a lot respect um but yeah anyway guys um hope you like it i will be doing more kit reviews and i will bring you back on the next one take care guys look out yourselves see you later